Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today I'm bringing you a bit of an informative video to talk about the six different alarm system services that we carry. So we are essentially a certified dealer for six different services that can be used with alarm systems. And in this video, I'm going to be basically explaining how that process works and what services might benefit you depending on what you're looking to do. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna break down each one of them and I'm not gonna go into super detail on each one I'm gonna do individual videos explaining all of the features available to them But for this video, I'm going to explain the process and Basically a little bit about each one so that you guys know what to look for. So let's jump right in So before I can actually start talking about the individual services, I need to kind of explain how the process works. And I'm gonna do that by splitting our services up into two different categories. And essentially the services we carry are Alarm.com, Total Connect, Alula, Uplink, and Connect24. And then we also have a central station monitoring service. Now the reason I separated these this way is because Central Station is basically an animal all on its own. It is the only service that we carry that offers the 24-7 monitoring, that offers the dispatch ability um, to get, you know, police or fire emergency, whoever it is, to your home. So they are basically the end of the chain. They are where your signals go to be responded to. Now. One thing to note about this particular point is Central Station is the only company that can provide an insurance certificate stating what services you are covered for. And this could involve, you know, burglary, fire, things along those lines. All the different types of sensors that are available on a system can be counted as a different monitoring um, certification. So as far as an alarm system is concerned, its main job is to obviously act as an alarm system whenever the system is triggered and it's put into alarm you get a siren that goes off but at the same time it also sends out signals if it's programmed to do so so you have your alarm system over here and then the end goal if you are trying to be monitored is getting those signals to a central station now in between that there is a middle step and that is just the communication step so you have three different methods of communication that you can use. You can use an analog phone line, you can use cellular, or you may use the internet. So nowadays, because phone lines are becoming kind of a dying breed, most people don't have them anymore, and voice over IP is not a reliable method, we're not going to be talking much about that. Um, we're going to be focusing on the cellular and internet aspect of communication for alarm systems. So essentially to create that communication path you have to have a module on your system now some systems come with that built in some of them require an additional add-on module that gives you either cellular or internet based capability and this is kind of where i want to bring in one additional point about communicators themselves sometimes you will find systems that have built-in communicators such as the Honeywell Vista 21 IP and the Qualsys IQ Panel 4. Both of these have built-in onboard communicators that offer a specific service. So for the Honeywell Vista 21 IP, you have direct access to Total Connect through an Ethernet cable that you plug in. Uh, you still have to pay for the full cost of the service. Um, you just don't have to basically purchase a communicator to use with that service. And as far as the IQ panel is concerned, you have an alarm.com dual path communicator in there. So it comes with a cellular and Wi-Fi communicator that attaches to alarm.com, giving you all of those options. So depending on what panel you have, you may or may not be limited service wise. So essentially you have your three options, your phone line, cell, or IP, and in that middle category is where those five other services come into play. So Alarm.com, Total Connect, Alula, Uplink, and Connect24. These are all communication-based services. 
Their main job is to allow signals to be sent from your panel to wherever they need to be. Now, in a lot of cases, you don't have to have a central station. Some of those services also offer the ability to just straight self-monitor, meaning you get an app on your phone, um, you can arm and disarm remotely, get notifications, but essentially, those middle five services control how signals come out of your panel. So the very first step in determining what type of service you want to look for comes down to whether or not you want to self-monitor or whether or not you want to be central station monitored. So whenever you are going to pick out your services, basically decide if you want central station monitoring and or you want to self-monitor. So that is where you start taking into account your uh, communication options. So let's say somebody wanted to be able to self-monitor, but they also wanted central station monitoring, meaning they wanted an app where they could control their alarm system, as well as get signals to a central station. Certain options out of those five communication services will provide that to you. So in this example, I'm going to use the DSC Neo and Alarm.com. So let's say you have a DSC Neo system in your home. If you take Alarm.com's communicator, which is a cellular and IP dual path communicator, when you attach that to your system, it allows that system to communicate directly with Alarm.com. Now Alarm.com at that point, basically if you have uh, the service level, they will give you an app and an account to log into so that you can remotely access that system, control it, get notifications, the whole bit. And then they will also forward your signals to the central station so that they can be responded to if they are alarm signals. So essentially, whenever you are going to pick out your plan, you need to look at the different communication service options and see which ones fits your needs best because all five of them, at the end of the day, can transmit signals to the central station. So, with that being said, I'm gonna kinda cover a little bit about each of the different services so that you guys can get an idea of how it works. Um, and I'm gonna start with Alarm.com because it's by far the most popular, but essentially Alarm.com offers self-monitoring like I mentioned. You can use an app or a computer portal to access the system, you know, set up user codes, um, change zone names, and on top of that Alarm.com also offers things like video packages as well as different add-ons for automation and different uh, equipment that they carry that allows you to kind of set your entire home up on one app so that you can control the whole thing remotely. And some people like that, some don't. Um, it depends on how into you know future tech you are. If you if you like the convenience of having Z-Wave automation in your home, you can go that route. Blah blah blah. There are uh, numerous options you can choose from with them. So I'm not going to get into all of them today. But essentially, Alarm.com's main job is to provide you with either signal forwarding to a central station or any of those options that I mentioned. The second option, uh, or the second service, Total Connect, is very similar. Um, they offer a self-monitoring setup. They also offer um, automation depending on what equipment you have attached to your system. Uh, they also have a video plan. The biggest caveat as far as Total Connect is concerned is that you have to have a central station monitoring account. Basically meaning you have to have Total Connect and the central station service if you want to use Total Connect. On top of that, Total Connect is also Honeywell's proprietary service, meaning you can only use Total Connect if you have a Honeywell alarm system as well as a Honeywell communicator. There are other communicators for Honeywell systems, such as Alarm.com, um, the Alula communicators work, Uplinks work, um, but essentially if you want a Honeywell system and you want all Honeywell services and modules and everything, Total Connect is the option for that. Now going into the further services, we have Alula, Uplink, and Connect24. Now these are all limited in one way or another, and I'll explain that here in a moment, but essentially starting with Alula, Alula offers a universal communicator called the Bat Connect. They also have other systems that are uh, full-on systems that have their built-in communicators, but we don't carry their systems, so I, I can't talk much about that. 
but we do carry the back connect and the back connect is a dual path communicator uh, it's actually a, a tri path depending on how you set it up but essentially it has access to cellular ethernet connection or wi-fi so dual path in the sense that it's cellular and ip for the ip side you can just choose between with using an ethernet cable or connecting it to your wi-fi network but essentially their communicator is also what's known as a universal communicator meaning it will work with any alarm system that's out there and it does that by reading the phone line terminals on different panels now with alula their universal communicator integrates differently depending on what system you use it with. So if you go to our website, um, I'll try and put a link down below to the back connect itself, but essentially if you check it out, there is a compatibility sheet on that page and it tells you what features come for each panel that uh, they have listed on there. So if you have one of the systems that has more integration, it may be a better option for you. The biggest downside to this is Alula has a flat price no matter what. And so whether you're getting a single feature out of 10 or you're getting all 10 features, you are paying the same price. So that is kind of the limitation for Alula. Depending on your panel, you may be paying for more than what you're getting. Um, same for um, Uplink. Uh, Uplink also offers a universal communicator. Theirs is a bit different, although one of them does read signals from a phone line if need be. But what's neat about Uplink communicators is they can just be triggered using an output on any system. And that output could be as simple as just the bell circuit that controls your siren. So when the, the alarm system goes off, it triggers power to the siren and also to the communicator and it just sends out a generic signal. Now, Uplink in the recent past has upgraded their communicators to be able to integrate with certain alarm systems. Um, those systems that I'm aware of would be the DSC Power Series and the Honeywell Vista Series. Either one of those, it is supposed to be able to offer a level of remote interactivity. Now, I don't have enough experience with it to say a whole lot about it, but essentially it is supposed to give you an app where you can arm and disarm, get notifications, um, things along those lines. I don't know what all features are available to it, but when I do my uplink video, I will hopefully have much more information to give on that. But essentially, if you are looking for uh, just a, a generic communicator, you just wanna to go to cellular and you need a way uh, to communicate outside of your home, you can use an uplink. You don't have to have you know things like the installer code for your alarm system. You don't have to do any programming or anything like that. Like I said, you just attach it to an output and there you go, you have a cellular communication path. And that in and of itself is limited because whenever using a trigger like that to make a communicator send signals, it's very limited on what information it can pass along. So basically you would get a generic burglary signal or a generic fire signal. And this is perfectly fine for Central Station. They'll dispatch on it all the same, but the other services like alarm.com or Total Connect, they can give a bit more information. They can say what zone was triggered. It can give a little bit more information to Central Station and that way they can relay it better to you. So um, more information about that on the service page itself on our site. So go check it out if you're interested. But essentially, Uplink is kind of just a universal cellular only option that works with any panel. Now, Connect24 is by far the most limited of all of these services. And Connect24 is specifically for uh, proprietary DSC systems and communicators. Now, Connect24 used to be similar to Alarm.com and those where you got remote interactivity, but DSC actually paired with Alarm.com whenever they designed the DSC Neo system. So if you want that remote interactivity with the Neo, you do have to use Alarm.com. Connect24 nowadays is just used for central station transmission only. The only thing it can do is if you have a DSC communicator on your DSC system, we can use it to send signals to a central station and that's it. Now some people um, in the DIY community have 
find found ways to integrate automation with Connect24 even outside of what the service actually covers. And there are ways to do that, but that is not part of what we do here. Um, that is solely your responsibility to set up and maintain. We just give you, you know, the tools that you need for the Connect24 side to do so. So uh, that is basically just an overview of all of our services. Hopefully that is at least a little bit insightful and helps you kind of decide what you're looking to get. Um, but essentially, check out the links below. Um, that will take you directly to our website and you can check out all the services we have available. Um, and then if you are interested in alarm monitoring or alarm.com or any of the options that I mentioned, you can purchase those directly from the website. We have an incredibly easy setup process. Uh, we basically email you activation forms. You fill those out. We tell you what to do from there. It's very straightforward. It's handled completely over email. And nine times out of 10, it's a very smooth process. No issues whatsoever. Um, the only struggle we may run into is, you know, if you don't have the installer code for your system, and you need a service that actually integrates with the brain of your system, we do have to be able to plug that installer code in. So um, if you are looking to get services through us, you are definitely going to need two things. Um, one is a communicator, as I mentioned, and then you're going to need the installer code for your alarm system. Alarm system store can no longer do phone line monitoring, so our only options are to use communicators, either built into systems or added to systems that use a cellular or internet based communication path. So if you need more information, feel free to reach out to us, but all of it's there on the website. You can check it out. Let us know what you think. And like I said, hopefully this has been informative and kind of guides you guys that are unsure of the process on how to go about ordering what you need. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll be following this up with additional service videos to try and give you guys more information about each individual service. Uh, and that way, you guys can make an even more informed decision. But for now, uh, like I said, check out the links below. Check out our website. It will give you all the information you need for your alarm system. Right. And that is going to do it for me today. Give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. And like I said, check out the site, leave us a comment, tell us what you think, and I will catch you guys on the next one.